Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tester. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Tyson, so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Ali's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punch. Punch him, move. Stay away from those. A leveling uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson, short in stature, wants to get to the inside, but tonight, fighting against an opponent that likes to stay on the outside and utilize that jab and move. But he's been prepared for that. Tyson has understood since he was an amateur that he's going to fight guys that are going to want to stay on the outside. Not only because he's short, but because he's a guy who can bang. And when you can bang, guys want to stay away. Tyson knows what he has to do to get in close. Two good jabs by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. Who's the ring? Who's the Keep ring? Unable to score with the hook. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good block by Ali. Good exchange. He fires back. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hadler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Mike Tyson. Round comes to an end, and that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic, and that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. He goes. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Through the years, especially in the heavyweight division, there have been some guys that can throw a good right uppercut. But when Tyson fully dips and get, gets all that body behind it, it's as good a right uppercut as we've ever seen. Yeah, it's coming from Brooklyn. You know, it's coming from a place that really you wish that you didn't have to visit because you get hit with that punch. He's putting everything into it, but he sets it up nice. He hits you behind the back a little bit in the rib area, and then all of a sudden, when your arm moves a little bit, it's coming up the middle. Well-targeted left hand by Muhammad Ali. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Ali's defense is it ever good. Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Ali's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. And we come to the end of round number two. Straight up, move that body. You need to move that body more, right? And round number three is underway. 
Sound defense. Good block that time by Mike Tyson. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Muhammad Ali. Great job, he gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. And now he's targeting upstairs. One, two, one, two. Combos, combos. Tyson's way off the mark. That punch Four didn't have a chance. Nice block. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there. Keep your head moving. Come on. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Tyson's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. Very accurate two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. And round three comes to an end. You're keeping your distance, all right? Here you go. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Muhammad Ali is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Tyson's doing well here with that two punch combination. Ali's well off the mark that time. Watch the hook! That's a good left hand by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's cranked by an uppercut. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's left now getting into the mix. See any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Ali's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Solid hook upstairs. He missed that uppercut. Good smooth work by Muhammad Ali. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Mike Tyson turns that hook in well. Punch Come on. Punch Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's right hand scores well. to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Tyson's crushed by a huge uppercut. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Listen to me. Best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That'll keep you away. Keep your guard up, all right? You're not protecting yourself. the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches, combinations. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good job.
job. It was touch. It was fast. It was direct by Mike Tyson. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy. So you figure that that's a good thing. That's an encouraging thing. This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots. The combination punching now scoring well by Muhammad Ali. Nice solid left hand scored by Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali smashed by an uppercut. Now blood's coming from his nose right there. That's not a big concern. What's more of a concern is the blood that he may be swallowing from that damage in the nose. Nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. Iron Come Mike on, lands the left. Good. One, two, one, two. It's all right. Just keep moving. Combo lands upstairs. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. Come on, get Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Ali's showing you a little defensive skill there, and they'll move away from that punch. Firing off the uppercuts, great exchange. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. And that's the end of round five. Ali's cut man is gonna earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, avatine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using illegal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Ali with a right hand. Ali's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Mike Tyson's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he... Boom, left hand comes home. Tyson's just being... Oh, that's gotta hurt. Wow, rushing blow upstairs. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. You got this one. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Good combination to the body. Taking too many punches. Hands up. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Muhammad Ali is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Tyson's got to find a way to switch things up here, Teddy. He's a brawler, but these middle rounds are proving that that's not the way to go here. No, but he doesn't know any other way. I don't think he has a choice. He is not a big, big shot he just scored with. Perfectly executed combination. Tyson's down. He's going to have to beat the count.
as we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's accomplished. Ali's position punch has carried this fight. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's not because he ate a lot of carrots when he was a kid and he has real good eyesight. It's because he's calm, he has good technique, and that is why he's right on the mark. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. Mike Tyson's coming off a round in which he was shook up really bad. He hit the canvas again. He needs things to change. Landing a two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. There's a straight right hand. Tyson's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Solid. Throw the scorecards out. Tyson's down and wants to be out. Again, Teddy, I've heard you say it time and time again, too tough for his own good. Well, this is the case. This is the kind of fighter that really needs a trainer to look out for. Because a lot of fighters, they look out for themselves. They get hurt, they get themselves out of there one way or the other. Not this guy. Tyson's doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do it countering on the back end. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, and he's got something defense. for him himself, and it's a left hand. Did you see that? Oh, that's a big shot. Tyson's hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. And that's the end of round seven. Set him in the ring, okay? Listen, he's done. He is done. I want you to double up that jab and then finish off with the hook, okay? One, one, two. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw it straight right down the middle. You gotta fight! You gotta throw more! This has been more of the same as we start round number eight. Ali's been on top of things from the opening bell throughout, leading on your scorecard every step of the way. Well, his opponent is fighting like he has Velcro attached to his forehead. I mean, he's just... The punch is just sticking to him. He's catching everything. Tyson's now switching things up. He was knocked down earlier, so now he's going to try to take a different course. Now, that tells me, if I'm his opponent, a couple of things. Either that he's very clever, that he's making a little switch, or it just gives me confidence that he's desperate. You know, he's never done this before, and in my mind... Big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes.
that's it. The fight is over. Mike Tyson's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. By way of knockout, your winner, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Muhammad Ali is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you like it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's gonna be easier to sell now.